Fall is underway in New England and seeds are everywhere to be found. Some seeding plants can be so nondescript that we barely notice them alongside the splendour of fall foliage, but many of them have ingenious adaptations to allow their seeds to disperse. Some, like cattails and milkweed, produce seeds with delicate threads that catch the breeze and allow them to fly far from the parent plant. Other plants, like this viburnum, favour brightly coloured, fleshy fruits to tempt birds and small mammals. Unrelated plants, like pokeweed and winterberry, deploy the same dispersal tactics. Appealing fruits containing indigestible seeds capable of passing through an animal's digestive tract and being deposited at a distance, with their outer coating scarified, scraped or dissolved away and ready to grow. Although far less visibly attractive than berries, burreeds produce hundreds of tiny nutlets that are consumed and excreted by ducks, muskrats and some fish. Plants like Queen Anne's lace have developed intricate seeds that are arrayed with tiny spikes that enable them to hitchhike in the feathers, fur or polar fleece of any animal that comes within touching distance. Tick seeds are similar, but their double-pointed seeds are edged with rows of miniature spines that face each other, thus making them notoriously difficult to remove. Ferns produce thousands of spores, not seeds, in structures known as sori, which are clustered on the underside of some fern fronds. When the spores are ripe, the sori burst open and propel the spores inches from the parent plant. Observing seeds gives us the opportunity to truly appreciate the complexity of natural adaptations and reminds us that we are surrounded by marvels every day.